Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today my topic is an Ethernet frame. Before we dive into some details of an Ethernet frame, let's talk about a frame in general in the networking field. In plain English, a frame is a data packet or data unit. Technically, a frame is a protocol data unit or PDU at the data link layer of the OSA model. The PDU at the different layer of the OSI model is named differently. At the transport layer, for example, the PDU is called TCP segment or UDP datagram. Most applications use TCP and thus a segment is often used to represent a PDU at this layer. At the network layer, the PDU is called a packet or an IP packet. At the data link layer, the PDU is called a frame. Different TCP IP technologies use different frames in terms of header information and a maximum transmission unit of the data or the payload capability. A token ring frame is different from the Ethernet frame. A Wi-Fi frame is different from a WiMAX frame. A Sonnet frame is different from ATM frame, and just to name a few. Even among the Ethernet family, frames can be different. For example, some implementations of a gigabit Ethernet and a high-speed Ethernet use larger frames called jumbo frames. For any two devices to communicate, they must use the same type of frames. Now let's talk about the Ethernet frame and its basic structure. An Ethernet frame has seven main parts. Preamble, recipient MAC address, sender MAC address, type, data, pad, and FCS. Preamble is a 64 bit of header information telling the receiving node that the frame is coming and where the frame starts. The second part is a recipient destination MAC address followed by sender's source MAC address. The type field tells the recipient the basic type of data, such as IP version 4 or IP version 6. The data field is the payload carried by the frame. The payload of the Ethernet frame refers to the IP packet delivered from the network layer. For an Ethernet frame, the payload limit is 1500 bytes. PAD is actual bits to make a frame at least bigger than 64 bytes because any data unit smaller than 64 bytes would be considered as collisions. The receiving device would simply ignore it. FCS stands for Frame Check Sequence. It is used for error checking and the integrity verification of a frame. 